It's the best I got. So first of all, ladies and gentlemen, what we need to do is let's just go and take a look and just kind of do a quick little review on the square roots. So first of all, if I have the square root of 9, remember the square root of 9 says what number that's exactly the same multiplies by itself to give me 9. So what number multiplied by itself to give me 9? That's what the square root of 9 is. And so you say 3. Very good. Okay. Now we look at 20, right? So these are all kind of square numbers when you can, fi when you can figure out a square, the square root of a number and you get an integer. But now when I take a look at the square root of 20, there's not a number that you can multiply by itself that's going to give you 20, is there? Well, it's going to be 4 and a decimal of some sort, right? Um, so and you can try, you can try this, but when you take the when it when you try to take the square root and it doesn't give you a, in, an integer, then the number is going to be irrational, meaning it's actually going to be a decimal that's going to repeat on and on forever. So what we like to do is we call it simplifying this. So what I can do is say, can I rewrite 20 as a product of two numbers where one of them is a square number? So I took the square root of 9. Is there another number that I can take the square root of that I can divide into 20? Let's think about the square numbers. We know the square root of, well, we know the square root of 9. We know the square root of 16. We know the square root of 25. We know the square root of 36. Do any of these numbers divide into 20? No. We also know what? The square root of 4. Does the square root of 4 divide into 20? Yes. Yeah. So is it possible for me to say then the square root of 20 equals the square root of 4 times 5? Is that OK? Yeah. Then what we want to do is we can't get an exact answer. But I can now say I know what the square root of 4 is, which is 2. I still don't know what the square root of 5 is. So that's going to be my simplified answer. OK? There we go. So that's how we're going to practice simplifying.